Welcome everyone. In this session, I'm going to be talking about converting your uh, USB camera or a laptop camera into an IP based camera. So what I'm so I have a camera, a Microsoft Live Cam uh, USB camera. That's me right there, right? So that's me right there. So I'm going to convert this camera. It's a USB camera. It supports uh, 1080p resolution at 30 fps i will be converting this camera into an ip camera to do that i'm going to be using something called vlc media player it's quite popular for playing video files and whatnot i use it uh, all the time for playing video files this is my main default media player if you don't have the current version you can always download it from vlc VLC's website, so it's called VLC Media Player. The current version at the time of recording is 3.0.18. So let's start the conversion process. Uh, you're going to click on the media at the top left. You're going to use Open Capture Device. Uh, and uh, you can choose the Direct Show uh, as the default. If it's set to something else, please select Direct Show for the capture mode. Uh, you should now see your video devices uh, listed here. So it's the Microsoft Live Cam and also the audio. If the camera got a microphone, you can also use uh, the microphone built into the camera. If it's a laptop camera, it will be listed as integrated camera. And you can have an array, I think, a uh, Microsoft array for input feed. In the advanced options, you can choose advanced and we're going to select dependent. So again, I had to uh, play around a bit. For this to properly work it wasn't working for me the first time so uh, th these are the these are the settings that actually work for my end it might be different for your device depending on what model it is you might be a, you might having you might be having a 720p camera instead of 1080p uh, i check the device properties because uh, i'll show you what happens when i click the stream button so those are the advanced settings again if you click on the setting it for some reason it disappears on me although i don't think it does it saves it so you don't have to keep flipping clicking and keep doing this unless you have your vlc media player crashes or you stop it or or you have exited out the media player so first time starting the stream and this is what you will have to do in at the bottom here you see play button click the little arrow down down arrow button click choose uh, click stream so alt s or stream uh, you can change any of these settings on this first page click next for the new destination for the destination setup you're going to choose rtsp you're going to click on add and for me i'm going to call it my vlc you can give it another path or you can leave it default uh, to slash it's up to you you can also change the port as well i'm going to leave it as such a default port of 8554 you might have to change your firewall settings if you think it's getting blocked so for the encoding or transcoding um i you have to use transcoding uh, this is so by default it will be set to this uh, mp3 mp4 but the setting would be probably showing mp4 mov but these are the settings that worked for me so i'm showing you the settings that are actually working for me i'm using mpeg ts for the uh, for the first tab and for the video codec i'm using h264 and i'm uh, specifying the bitrate speed of 6500 or 60 yeah 6500 for the audio audio codec codec to work um mp3 didn't work for me mpeg audio didn't work for me mpeg4 audio aac work for me and make sure the sample rate is set right it might be different for you but for uh 44 000 works for me it's uh, probably universal for everybody so give this uh, setting a try for audio uh for subtitles we are not having any subtitles so once again these are the settings that are actually working for me they might be different for you so you might have to play around a bit with that i'm going to click on save I'm going to click next. It's going to give you the path. Say it's going to say, hey, hey, this is your path. It's missing the IP address. I'm going to copy that. I'll show you. And uh, you're going to click stream. 
it's going to pop up with the camera control property or camera controls um you don't see the feed here but i, I i'm going to just reset everything to default and click ok here you can choose the compression you might have mpeg or rgb 24 i believe uh, so i'm getting this compression option depending on the model of the camera then i'm going to use 1080p for my default resolution the output size i'm going to click apply then the audio wizard will come up oh, sorry apply and then you have to hit ok then the audio it says hey do you want to use the audio i was like yes yeah, sure i want to use the audio as well the microphone basically click ok now you'll see the camera light blink on your end if it's laptop it'll be amber white but for me it's a, a blue led blinking on my camera at the bottom left you'll see that okay the transcoding or the streaming has started the seconds i noticed that they pause and they go back and forward it's a little goofy but the stream doesn't seem to be that bad to be honest so to test it out if you have an instance of obs running on your system you can do that on obs so i have another machine running with obs um, this is just for testing purposes to test if the stream is actually working so you click on add and you choose media source uh, right now uh, Right now the microphone I've muted because I'm uh, outputting my <laughs> microphone to that computer as well. But you'll see down here, there will be another microphone added from the camera feed. So I'm going to choose, uh, let's call it live cam, right? That's what it's called. You're going to create new. And instead of using local file, I'm going to specify the path, the one that I just copied. You want to make sure that you don't have the extra bracket at the end and you want to put in your IP address. For example, it might be 10.0.24, 25, whatever, right? For me, I have defined my IP address in a host file and it's called, I call it my local PC because I don't want to be putting my IP addresses uh, um, in the field there. I rather type the name, easy to remember, so to speaking. So my local IP, uh, my local PC is the IP address of the machine running the VLC, where the conversions actually take place, where the USB camera is. So this is a second machine running OBC. Oh, sorry, not OBC, my bad. I've been calling it OBC, OBS. Uh, and you're gonna just, uh, you can use use hardware encoding. Don't think it does much. And I'm gonna click OK. Again, this is a test. Here you can see that live cam, it has come up the microphone. This is my other USB microphone that I have. And there you go. So this feed you hear is actually from the camera feed and you can see me right there. I'm going to just wave here for you guys. Yeah, it's a little bit delayed. So uh, because uh, depending on the connection between machines, you might see these smears and whatnot. So it's probably related to the fact that your encoding or your speed between the two machines is not quick enough. So this live cam is actually from the feed from the camera. So that's how you would convert your USB camera to um, IP based camera. So if you if you think this worked well for you guys, do comment below and do please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.